Good evening everybody and welcome to Dark Shed Live, the Printmas Advent Calendar. We are on day four, it's the 4th of December 2020. It's 16 minutes past eight in the evening here in the UK. Thank you very much for joining. If you're joining live in this impromptu session, um, what have we got on tonight? So, yesterday, do, 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 I printed this one. That was the final print, although I ended up destroying the print because uh, the test was to see what happened after exposing it again um, to light after development before fixing. So go check that video out if you want to see it. Um, here's the print in the flesh of Lock Voil. And this was the one that was exposed to light after development and then redeveloped that was. So tonight it is the 4th, so that means I get to open another box on the camera film photo advent calendar that, uh, that I won. I won, I was nominated for. <laughs> uh, so it's the 4th to the 6th, so here we go. Ooh. And this, exciting. Rolly RPX 400, awesome. Never shot that before. So uh, I think I might have shot it in medium format, actually. I don't know. I've had, so my go-to 400 speed film is HP5. Um, and I very rarely sway from that. Um, so this would be great to experiment with. Thank you very much. Perfect. Uh, today's shout out is going to be for Good old Ethan Moses. Uh, so Ethan was on the show early this year um, talking about his uh, camera dactyl mongoose, the 35mm um, film scanner, automated film scanner, and he is in the thick of it, starting to get set up and produce those now. Um, and he's building a load of 3D printers and stuff, and he's doing these massive streams uh, from his workshop. I'm a big fan of the long stream, so uh, <laughs> check them out if you've, uh, if you've got a chance. I will put the link in the show notes. So on to tonight, I am going to be printing this. Um, so I had the thought of doing a colour print and then realised I don't think, well, I haven't got any RA4 chemicals mixed up at the moment and I haven't got time to do it today. Maybe I've got a bit more time over the weekend, so I might mix them up for doing that. Um, but I really wanted to print a colour image. And it got me thinking about back to when I did uh, this stream, which was the RA4 reversal process. So I used slide film, Ectochrome, um, uh, medium format that was and went through the RA4 reversal process to get a positive print on RA4 paper. Now tonight I'm going to do something a little different because I don't have the colour chemicals mixed up. I'm actually going to do a black and white print, right? So if you were to do a black and white print from a colour neg using normal photo paper, you would get a positive image. In this case, to get a positive image, I need to use positive paper. So I could go through the reversal process in black and white as well, but I thought I'd give it a go using this, which is a direct positive um, Harman, aka Ilford um, paper. This I usually use for um, using it in camera. So you load it into double dark slides, expose it in camera, come back to your dark room, develop it, and you get a positive print straight away. It's fibre paper, so there's all the, the details of working with that, regards development time and washing and everything. But let's see if this actually, no, no, that's not the right camera. Neither is that. Is this gonna come up? Oh, it's flipped. <laughs> Two seconds. I did my first test strip before I came live and uh, actually got results. This. So the image that I'm doing is the uh, the cow. So I don't know if you can see, but 
his feet are just there, or her feet. Um, so I'm actually getting a positive image from that, which is great. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to manipulate it with contrast filters and stuff, but that was without a filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and now do a full print with that and demo that. Let's just put this somewhere relatively safe. So I've got my exposure set up from that. Test strip, uh, multicam, the old monitor screen on. So it doesn't get fogged. Okay, everything's set up. Um, so it's five by four paper, so the easel size is that was set to is tiny. Uh, where did I put the paper? Here we go. It's quite curly, this paper as well. I don't know how well I can hold that in there. what happens when you've got big sausage fingers. <laughs> there we go, hopefully that's done. So this image was taken on the south, um, southwest coastal path in the UK, probably two years ago um, in the summer. Glorious day walking along the path. A bit too hot actually. So in we go to the developer. Give that a good swash around. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the chat or in the comments below. And you can follow along on my social media, which is at The Dark Shed on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube as well. Thank you very much. I think my chemicals are a bit cold tonight. I um, So I've mentioned before these slot processes have got a, a water bath in them and I haven't had them on since yesterday. It's pretty cold at the moment. I don't know what the actual temperature going on here is. Image is coming out though. There's something weird going on on the top of that. Have to wait and see that. So fibre paper, um, I've got it at one I've got the MG Dev at one plus nine, so the fiber paper is two minutes in this. Ah, <sighs> yay. Which is a hell of a long time when you're just standing by yourself streaming on YouTube. It'd be great if you could play music, wouldn't it, on YouTube? And the artist actually got some royalties from it. That would be the ideal situation and you just didn't get blocked from streaming. Okay, there we go. Yeah, something very strange going on at the top of that. You might be able to see clearer on the infrared cam. I don't know what that's about. I might actually just put another one in quickly because there's definitely something wrong with that. Might be the paper. The paper's quite old. Um, but. 
the exposure look good. Got a message come in from Tara. <laughs> Tara's currently streaming on the big telly tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Tara. How's that going for you? Very unfortunate, I expect. Right, so we'll get this second one, developer. Something weird there. So it's the demo I did last night where I exposed the um, paper after putting it in the developer was actually at the request of Tara because uh, she wants to do a little video of, of the image being re-exposed and how it deteriorates. Oh, that's looking better. Something wrong with that piece maybe. And yeah, I think that could look quite, quite cool actually over a time lapse or just a... It happened quite quickly. Um, I, I did fire a flash at the paper to accelerate it. Oh, that needs another minute. So tomorrow I've got a full day of printing in the shed. I've got a commission on to print somebody else's negative. Um, which is something I've I've done before with the person in the dark room with me, but I've never printed anybody else's negative for commission. So I hope they're not watching because I'm quite scared about doing it. <laughs> I've done some test prints uh, and it's all looking great. And uh, I sent them through and they seem really pleased with them. Um, but it's, so it's a nice premium print. It's a 16 by 16 on Ilford MG uh, fiber warm tone and because it's commissioned for somebody I'm going through the whole process of uh, selenium toning it as well for archive but yeah it's nice nice big print and I assume it's going to be a Christmas present for somebody so better make sure I get it right but yeah that's going to be a good day's work I think for but that does mean I'm going to be mixing up some toner, um, fresh toner for that process. So at some point, maybe Sunday or Monday, I will do a demo with that to show the effect of uh, selenium toner. And the time is just broken. There we go. Bit of a slow one tonight because of uh, the time it takes fibre to develop. So yeah, if you've got any questions, stick them in the chat. Give me something to talk about rather than rambling on. That's looking good. Happy with that. So this fibre paper, as mentioned previously. Um, so this will need a good wash. Um, I think it's 45 minutes, it says in the, the spec. It depends how you do it, whether you do it under running water or use a hypo as well. This is the downside to this positive paper. I, I wish they could do positive on RC paper because then you could you could really just go out into the field couldn't you and take and develop in like a little um, box just get it all set up with your chemicals in and wash it in a tub of water and do positive prints out and about but it's just, it just takes so long to wash it's just not feasible like that right let's turn some lights on that off and let's I'll go and turn the more lights on actually so we can see this print fingers crossed so that's the that's the one that I had a problem with I don't know what's going on there oh it looks nice though 20 seconds left in this ah oh, it's doing it on that one as well so with Thinking about it, this is that means it's getting there's either extra light being exposed on the paper at some point. I don't know if I've got any, it might be off my camera, I suppose. Um, like I say, it could just be something's happened to the paper. 
like that looks pretty good apart from that problem so there we go that's a positive print from slide positive black and white print from slide film I need to sort out what that problem is before I uh, put these on my website for sale um, let's just bring that up full screen Belly's just put a message saying he's watching from the drive through of a, <laughs> a Chick-fil-A restaurant whose marketing mascot is a cow <laughs> so it's good timing thanks Billy nice so there we go how are you watching a drive through is that on your phone I don't, know, I don't have that great phone speed to be able to do anything like that. Um, they look pretty good. I don't know what's going on here and here. Just poured water over my mouse. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to investigate those now. I've got, what, 20, 25 minutes before I've got to get back and watch TV because it's the uh, end of, I'm a celebrity tonight. So I want to catch that. Right, <laughs> on that note, um, don't forget to, <laughs> I will get this sorted, hopefully, hopefully it's not the paper then I can get it sorted and I'll stick it on my website where you can subscribe to my patronage and get the print as part of that or just buy it separately. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I shall see you tomorrow for another day of 